Hi everyone, this is a video to show you how you can easily rerun your analysis um, when using SPSS. There is a function called syntax which makes this much easier. I'm showing this because there's some projects where we struggle to get enough respondents to give us a reasonable sample. So there's a delay between what we have to work with now and having to get enough people in order to make it a valid analysis for your report. So I'm suggesting that you use this syntax function so you can start your analysis and then when we finalize our samples, you can easily rerun that analysis um, on the final data set uh, for your report purposes. So what I have done here is that I, from our Delhi Depot data, I have computed a new variable called new. This is basically a mean score taken from x1 to x6 using the transform compute variable function. So when you run anything in SPSS using the functions, the output creates what's known as syntax. So at the top here you'll see a bunch of random things. One says compute new equals mean, which is the new computation. What I also did was run a descriptives. I did the frequencies of this new variable called new. So new, that is frequency variables equals new. So we can, when you run this stuff, every time you run something, a syntax is created. So we can take this syntax and we can rerun the analysis or computation or recode or anything else that you want to do with the data. So we go, this section here, double click, and then we select it all, and then we copy, control C, and we go to new and syntax. And we control V, paste. So just to show that it really does create everything from again, so I'll go back to my data file and I'm going to delete this variable here which was new that I previously computed and I'll go back to the syntax file and I will select all the syntax that I want to rerun and then I go to this yellow, not yellow, it's green triangle and run selection. So our files come up, I'm just going to scroll across Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Here is that very new variable called new. Here that you can see that is being recomputed based on um, that syntax. So if I go to the output file, you will see that the frequencies has also been re reconducted or rerun and that's based on the syntax. So if using the syntax to rerun your analysis, the only thing to be aware of is you might need to change the file destination. So when it says get file, if that gets out of the way. So this is directing it to the original Delhi Depot, MRIA underscore four E file. So if you're going to call the your complete data set, something different to your partial data set, you're going to need to tell the syntax where to find that complete data set and its file name. So this should help you be able to do your analysis now while we're waiting for complete data sets so you're not as disadvantaged as you could be. I hope that helped.